Hello everyone and welcome to the show today. I am so happy to have Tom Berger here um, and today we're going to talk about the Slowpoke Western Art Show that's coming very soon, right Tom? It's coming on the 25th, 26th and 27th of September. Okay, so for those of them out there that haven't heard of this Western Art Show, why don't you fill them in on what they can expect and is this a show that they can actually attend? This is a live show and uh, we think it'll probably be the first live art show in California since the shut down in March due to COVID. Uh, the Slowpoke has been around for 10 years. This is our 10th anniversary. This is the fifth year that we've been out of the gallery and we are at Flag is Up Farm in Solvang. That is the thoroughbred horse farm of Bonnie Roberts, the horse whisperer that Robert Redford played in the movie of that name. Nice. And Pat it's Roberts is, is one of their, oh, it's a gorgeous, it's a gorgeous place. Farm. This is a hundred acres of pastures and barns and, and beautiful horses and breeze rolling through. So absolute safe place to, to hold a, a live art show. You know, social distancing will be Absolutely. very, very, you know, kind of natural. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So not only that, but uh, you know, we'll have hand sanitizer and, and we have 25,000 square feet of Space. wide open riding arena, open on three sides, nice. roof, nice. that we can spread the show out. So, right. so even when you're looking at the art, you're going to be socially distanced. So everybody can feel safe there. Yeah, but the advantage of this over a virtual art show is you can actually see the art, you can see the energy, in it, and you can actually feel the communication when, when that happens with the art. And you can't do that uh, on a TV or a virtual or show. Online. Yeah, exactly. And the artists are there to talk to, you right. know, they'll be socially distanced from you, right. but you know, over six feet or more, and you can ask questions. No, no, well, yeah, that's right. right. Yeah, so everybody's gonna have a cowboy bandana, just like our logo, which we'll show you in a minute. And that way they yeah. can kind of just wear it as a face mask and and not have to worry about those silly paper things. So, so once you purchase a ticket, that's included, so. This is free when to everybody who comes to the show. Nice. And everybody who comes to the show also gets a high quality art book. This isn't just the usual newsprint catalog. This is a nice book that, that shows the art and something about each of the artists that are in the show. So, you know, you get a lot of value for your money. And if you buy a piece of art, for $250 or more, which is pretty low end, we'll refund the cost of one of your $25 tickets. So the admission for the art buyer is essentially free. Right, right. By the way, I look better like this, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just, like just, just so long as I don't go in a bank. That's a cool <laughs> though, really. So uh, just touch on, we're gonna meet a few of the artists here coming up, um, but touch on the type of art that people can expect because I know sculptures are a really hot commodity, right? So we have both paintings and sculpture and photography in this show. We have a very unique event this, this year for any art show. We have three high-end sculptors in the show and all three of them will be unveiling their brand new bronze sculptures for the first time at the Slowpoke. Brand new. So, okay, so you unveiling. know, this is Pat Roberts and this is uh, Dino Mahaffey and Errol Gordon are the three and they've all got three very different sculptures, very affordable and each of them very, very interesting in what they've done. So uh, that's where it comes to the show, right there. Nice. And so you mentioned that this is going to be held there in uh, Solving, as it has the past how many years? And then prior to that, where did Well, so it we, we started the Slowpoke 10 years ago uh, here in Pismo Beach at Seaside Gallery, which at the time I owned. And after about five years, we outgrew that. And so we moved it as a separate business and we moved it over to the uh, Pismo Beach uh, Veteran Center where we had about 2,500 square feet and we staged it there for two years. And then we got an invitation from Pat and Monty Roberts to move the show to their ranch so that we would have a chance to take the place of the Pepper Tree Art Show which had gone out of business right. about 10 or 11 years before that. So we are now out on, I mean it's an absolutely gorgeous ranch uh, you go to see western themed art uh, with western horses uh, you can hear them they're snorting around uh, you'd smell them uh, so it, it just it just adds to the atmosphere for this kind of a show and by the way western art means a lot more than cowboys and indians so you know uh, a, a painting of san francisco bay is western art a painting of narragansett bay in rhode island is not western art and you say well what's the difference well the colors are different, the architecture is different, the landscape's different, and there's really nothing about 
the East Coast that relates to the discovery and the attitudes that, that we find here on the West Coast. So Western art to us is very broad. It's wildlife, it's landscapes, it's contemporary art, it's, it's uh, abstract art. We have some abstract art in the show this year. Uh, seascapes, landscapes, so if portraits. So you want to learn about art, so, you can attend the Disney Yeah, this, this is a great place. So we limit it to about 25 artists. We have 24 this year. Uh, this allows a visitor to come in, talk to each of the artists if they want to, get to know them, get to know their art, and at a relaxed pace, make a choice, uh, and hopefully right. buy some art. And they don't have to worry about looking at 200 more Right. Artists that, that you do so in a big city show, yeah, right? Exactly. We call that the war, Walmart effect because you, you get totally lost. <laughs> but what did I come in here to buy? Oh yeah. So. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I know I've been before, and I'm excited to attend again this year. And we encourage you all to um, to be in support of Western art. I mean, this is something that we don't have to look at as just something our, our great grandparents or grandparents were into. Um, you know, go out and learn about art. And if it's not Western art, just learn about fine art in general, because I know I've certainly learned a lot from you over the years. And, and this art is not just local artists. We have artists coming in from Colorado Springs, New Mexico, yeah, Arizona, throughout the state of California. So, you know, just like the, the former show we're trying to replace, these artists come from all over the Southwest to participate in this show. So it's a unique event. Uh, and guess what? You don't have to fight LA traffic to go to a nope. big city show and see it. So nope. it's come out to the Slowpoke. Yeah. So, okay, thanks for joining me today. And then we're going to be speaking with the artists here shortly. So um, uh, we'll be right back. All right, so I'm happy to be back here, of course, with Tom Berger, and um, this time we have Pat Roberts, and we're excited to talk to you today, Pat. Um, tell me a little bit more about the sculpture art that you um, have done, and for how long, and um, and how it integrates with the Monty Roberts Ranch. Well, uh, this is a horse farm. Uh, this uh, it's been in existence for 54 years, and so naturally, uh, my favorite subject. Our horses and in 1971 I uh, decided that I wanted to sculpt and I took an adult education class at Santa Barbara City College wow. and uh, I finished a, a sculpture it was just called nude and I went from there and over the years I've done I don't know how many now but wow. most of them are animals uh, I seem to, uh, to like to do animals more than I do people and I think I'm better at animals but you know, how could I not be good at animals living here amongst them and uh, raising them, showing them, and uh, loving the life that I live? And that's the passion behind what you're doing with your sculptures. And you have one there that's kind of right there on display. And um, how long ago was that one done? That one was done about 10 years ago. And that is a Awari horse, which is the native horse of India. And I did that for Satish Simar, who uh, works for the Sheikh Mohammed from Dubai. And he was from India, raised these horses, and for years he wanted me to sculpt a Moari horse. So I did. Oh, yes, and amazing. I called it the Spirit of India. And so what's some of, some of the um, sculptured art that you'll have there on showcase at the Western Art Show on the 25th of this month? I'm going to... Uh, uh, Premier, I guess you call it premiere, or everyone's going to get to, pardon? Unveil. Unveil. Yes, it's a two, secret right now. But right. Unveil two new pieces. One is a full-size um, study of a horse head, uh, a beautiful quarter horse. And the other one is a small little donkey oh. by the name of Martha. Oh. And Martha is a favorite of a lot of people here in the San Inez Valley. Uh, she belonged to uh, Debbie and Dan Gerber. She was a rescue donkey brought from Texas to California. And uh, I uh, just thought it was a fun project. I really enjoyed doing it. So how long does it take? I mean, I'm sure depending on the project, but what is a standard time? Like how long was the donkey in development and how long did that take? It was a very fast one. I think I, I completed that project in less than three months, which is, for me, that's really fast. Wow. The now, horse took a little longer. 
when you're working on these projects, is this something that you're doing, you know, eight hours in a day or is it just kind of like, you know, when you have time throughout the day or is it? I, I fit it in when I have time. Yeah. Um, okay. I, uh, I, I have courses that I show. In fact, I'm leaving tonight to go to Rio right. uh, for a, a, a competition. And so I, I fit it in, in between other things. I, we have a, a farm here that takes a lot of, uh, of supervision and care. And, and so I spend a lot of time doing that. But I try to get to my heart, heart each day a little bit. And the farm that, that Pat's talking about, as you can see, I mean, it's no small farm. This is it behind me. <laughs> and it's, it's gorgeous um, <laughs> and amazing. It's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful spot. And uh, it's going to be wonderful to have all these people here a week after. It's about, what now, 10 days out? It's, yeah, it's we're very it's close. <laughs> get pretty close. <laughs> anyway, I'm looking forward to having a lot of visitors and uh, people to come see the art and see the horses and uh, it's a beautiful place. And so, so what is let it? Me, let me add to that is as you look at the picture there is this is a wide open farm in the mm -hmm. open air. It sits here amongst the San Inez mountains. There's generally a breeze blowing through. Uh, we're holding a live art event that is essentially outside. We're still going to have social distancing. We're still going to have hand sanitizer. And for people who want to wear a mask, they're actually going to get a free cowboy paisley slowpoke, you know, bandana to wear as a mask. <laughs> you know, this, this has got to be one of the very first live events. It's absolutely safe for people to come out and see the art firsthand. And what does it mean, I guess, to the two of you to, to still have a Western art show and to be able to put, you know, all of this beautiful art on display and, you know, in, in the San Inez Valley? I mean, I would expect that that's, you know, something that those of you that collect art out there and have appreciation for this kind of art, it's a great place to be able to do it. Well, it, this valley has been known for its art. In fact, it was known for its art uh, before it was known for its grapes. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, That's the, good to know. <laughs> you know. Grapes have taken over everything, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> they have. But uh, we had a wonderful uh, a premier art show here for many, many years called the Pepper Tree Art Show. And Bob and Irma Eubanks uh, uh, were the ones that were the movers and shakers with that. And uh, when uh, Irma passed and Bob moved down south, uh, the show went away. And uh, what we're trying to do is revive the uh, tradition of Western and all kinds of art here in the Valley. And so that was, uh, that was our, our pet project. And a few of us artists got together one time about four years ago and said, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could put something together? And then along came Tom and there, so, we, go. there, we, there we are, we're, we're making history. And then it's a great partnership. And again, it couldn't be a better place to showcase um, the Western Art Show. I mean, it's it's absolutely gorgeous and it's beautiful. It's um, wide open and uh, we're going to really spread everything out this year and take every precaution because we want everyone to be safe. But uh, it is a very healthy, he healthy atmosphere here on the farm. And in closing, you want to mention a little bit about, about the farm there and what you guys offer there, just so that people have a knowledge maybe that don't know about it? Well, if you, if you look in the background there, you can see vaguely our racetrack. We train thoroughbred racehorses and uh, we raised some very, and trained some very, very wonderful horses over the years. And we also board horses. We've got green pastures and we're green year round because we have an abundance of water. And uh, we just, we offer a lot. It is a full service horse operation. Nice. And you're doing a great job. And it's been up and running for how long now? 54 years. 54 years. And look at you. You're still going strong. I mean, Absolutely. thank you for making time for us today because I know you're going to be leaving and, you know, good I'm, for you. I'm looking forward to my competition too. Yeah. <laughs> good, good luck up the Reno. Thank you. I like to go and beat the kids. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. You'll have to report back and let us know how that goes. I'll let you know, <laughs> good or bad. Okay, well, um, again, we hope that everybody joins us at the Slowpoke Western Art Show. Anything you wanted to add in closing, Tom? No, I think we, uh, you know, we're gonna have, besides Pat, we have two other sculptors who will be unveiling sculpture at the show. So very unique. I mean, 
having three sculptures unveil brand new sculptures at the same show at the same time. I mean, that's exciting pretty exciting stuff. Exciting stuff. Yeah, that's a reason to come out and see them anyway. So and how many other right. vendors all together? How many vendors all together? How many artists? Well, we have about 23 uh, artists this year. Okay, perfect. So a good showing. All right. Good cross section of all kinds of art. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, again, Pat, appreciate your time today very much. And we will see you very soon. I'm looking Thank forward you, Tom. to it. All right. Thank you. Have a good show. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.